Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today, we're going to be doing a reading on the pink sauce. Okay, this has been on social media. I think it originated on um, one of the more popular social media <laughs> platforms, but the, um, the creator has moved to another platform because there's been such a rage over whether this sauce is legit whether this sauce is healthy. Um, I'm sure you guys, if you clicked on the video, you know what's going on with the sauce. The sauce is being marketed on social media. It has not been um, FDA approved. It's being shipped. It's, suppo it's supposed to have milk in it. You know, it's arriving, exploded. It's just a lot going on with this pink sauce, okay? So I just came up with a couple of questions myself. I'm sure that you guys may have even more questions. So please take the time. If you have more questions about the pink sauce, if I get enough questions, I will come back and do a part two to this reading. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. But let's get into this pink sauce, y'all. Let's see where we're gonna start. All right, so let's just find out the energy around, is this pink sauce safe to eat, okay? Is it safe? Is this pink sauce safe to eat? All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, I cannot wait to do this reading. I'm so excited. Is this pink sauce, is it safe? Okay, guys. We have the King of Cups. We have the High Priestess. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Three of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this is the uh, chef that is creating this pink sauce. This, <laughs> this Queen of Pentacles being in reverse could indicate that um, she's very obsessed with um, the nicer things in life with um, a lot of money, putting money before a lot of other things that are important. This can also indicate that she could be undergoing some financial difficulties at this time, but um, it could be either one of the two. This is also a person who is an entrepreneur who may own their own business. That is the energy on the bottom of the deck. And then I have the two of pentacles now on the bottom of the deck. This talks about having a lot of responsibilities and juggling a lot of things at this time and not doing a very good job at it. So I feel like there's a lot of heat going on in regards to this product. You know, um, a lot of people are like, they're blasting her on social media and she's in her feelings about it. I have this three of swords and it's in the reverse. She's trying to figure out how to balance all of this. <clears throat> so let's see, is it safe? So what I'm showing here is that, you know, this was offered on social media. That's the page of cups and the king of cups is people's attraction to it. Okay. People fell in love with it because of the color. It just looked so different. You know, people were attracted to it. Coincidentally, these cups are pink. I have the high priestess here. This alarms me a little bit. I'm going to go in and clarify before I actually comment on what I'm feeling from this card. So with this five of pentacles being here in the reverse, this is about um, trying to recover trying to recover. Um, I do feel like this has uh, affected uh, her financial situation, or this could indicate that this was her financial situation. Like she's trying to repair her financial situation here. Um, this two of wands is also showing me that there was a lack of planning here 
on her part. She didn't plan for this very well, but she has been reaping some benefits here with this Three of Cups. She has been reaping some benefits. Um, let me go in and clarify this High Priestess before I say anything about it. Spirit, why is the High Priestess card here? I have the Page of Pentacles. I have the Five of Cups in reverse. This is people paying for the product. And this is them not being happy with what they are actually receiving in the mail, right? Okay. And I have the moon, and this is what I was afraid of. So combined with this High Priestess card, the High Priestess is someone who knows what's going on, is very aware. The High Priestess knows things. So pretty much like she knows that this may not be safe, but she's choosing not to speak on that. That the high priestess in the upright, you know, is quiet, is withholding. It can also indicate that someone is withholding information. The fact that the moon came out really worries me. So that lets me know that there's some type of information that could be hidden from us. This is just like a sneaky, deceitful energy for me. And I do feel like it's a lot of confusion, you know, with um, the people who have purchased the sauce. That's also why this is coming out. But y'all, she's still doing good. So I don't really know, you know, how many bottles she's selling, but she's living life. Okay, she's doing well. Now, I will say what well, this is about supposed to be $20. Like, I'm not paying $20 for a sauce. I'm not. I'm really not. And I'm definitely not ordering it. No shade to anybody who wanted to try it. I'm all like, live your life. I'm just not that risky. I'm not a risk taker in that sense. Some things I take a risk with, but I just could not have purchased this sauce for $20. Mm -mm. Not without her giving a little more information or having a, uh, you know, a couple of more receipts. Uh -uh. Let me get a few more cards on this high priestess. Why is this high priestess here on this? This is safe. We have the page of swords in reverse. This can let me know that there are lies, okay? There's some things that she's not speaking about in regards to this product. I have the knight of wands in reverse. This could indicate that her business is going to slow up. And it may be because there's going to be some information that comes to light in regards to it. I mean, I'm sure it's already slowed up based on what we already know, but I feel like it's something even deeper than that, y'all. It's maybe worse than we think. We have Nine of Swords energy on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is the chef's energy. She's stressing out about this, and she's definitely losing sleep about it. Nine of Wands in reverse. She's having to defend herself, I think, on all fronts here, and she's feeling worn out. Burden, y'all. 10 of wands, nine and the 10 of wands, carrying around 19 wands. I do feel like she had this idea at one time, even though this is in the reverse now. I think that she had an idea um, here and she went after it and she was passionate about it. My only issue is this moon. So I am going to ask something a little bit like, is she on the up and up? Is she sincere about, you know, making this product and really being an entrepreneur? Or was this like a scam from the beginning? But as of right now, it doesn't look good. Okay. I have justice in the reverse here for her. I'm not sure that all of this is going to work out. That was one of my questions. I wanted to know, is this pink sauce going to be successful? I don't know, y'all. We got the devil here and the Ten of Swords. And I also have the Hierophant. This could indicate the internet. I feel like this may be coming to an end here. The devil energy is all about releasing something. I'm showing something not working out here for her. With this devil energy being here, I don't like this card either. That's a low energy. And that could indicate that she may be a scam artist here. We'll see. I would like to take this time to put out the disclaimer. This reading is for entertainment purposes only and everything in this video is alleged. Okay, so what are we gonna ask next? 
Okay, Spirit, she said that they were quality testing this. Were they really quality testing it? Was she really getting this pink sauce quality tested for safe consumption? Or was that a lie? Y'all, the high priestess and the moon. It was a lie. She was lying through her teeth. I haven't said that in a long time. Lying through her teeth. <clears throat> and we have the five of pentacles here on the in reverse. This can indicate stealing. Stealing. <sighs> and recovery though. And I see her celebrating here, but the world is unhappy. The world is in reverse. The devil, she lying. And all the while she is using money that she's getting and she's living her life. Mm. Was, was she really getting this sauce? I have the King of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse is not taking any action, is not making any moves. And I have three no's on the board. And then I have the Three of Swords here. That's the energy probably of the people who never received their product or something went wrong with their order. This could be her energy too. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands here. And we have Justice coming back out in the reverse. The Three of Wands. The Five of Cups in reverse. Let's get one more card. So ultimately what I'm showing is no, she wasn't. I'm getting no's like all over the place. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm kind of seeing here is I feel like no, when she actually said that nothing was being done at that time, but it looks like that there are some actions possibly being done now. Like it's almost like I didn't know I needed to do it, but now that I know with this Ace of Swords, now I'm going to do it with this Ace of Wands. And here's the Emperor. So the Empress is the birth of the idea, the beginning, the creation, and it's in the reverse. So it's like at first it was like, no. And I feel like Spirit is coming through saying now, yes. Now they are walking towards that with this Eight of Cups. And Temperance being here, I do feel like that could indicate that that was just like I said, a mistake or I didn't know. You know, this was like a um, a growing pain with this Ten of Swords. But when she said it on camera, I feel like she knew it was a lie and she was lying then. But maybe, you know, as time has progressed, um, she's now doing it now. That's kind of the energy that I get. And I have the Fool here on the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's keep it moving. All right, so the next question I had is, how is everyone generally feeling about this pink sauce? Like how are all these people who bought the sauce, you know, the people who are um, awaiting orders that were never filled or that they have received them. How are people receiving this sauce? How are they currently feeling about it, Spirit? Mm. 
All right, guys. Three of Swords coming off the deck. Heartbroken. Disappointed. Mad. Sad. Hurt. The moon. They're like, I don't know what is in this stuff. Everything's a mystery. And that's why people are attracted to this whole, this whole fiasco here. It's mysterious. It's like, you know, I don't know about this sauce. What is going on with it? Uh-oh, we have justice showing here. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. That speaks to unhappiness. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Hermit in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords. They're feeling betrayed. The Six of Wands in reverse. And I have the King of Cups. Nine of Cups. Okay, let's quickly go in and clarify why justice is here. Why is the king of cups here? Okay, so there's a lot of confusion here. We have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This speaks to confusion, right? This is, you know, have I been swindled here? Is everything, you know, is this an illusion? Is she trying to get over on this? I feel like people really liked her. They enjoyed her content prior to the sauce coming out. And so they're kind of stuck like, you know, was she trying to trick us? Was she trying to trick us or, you know, is she genuine? Is she genuine? Again, a lot of people enjoyed her content. I have the lovers here, but now they don't trust her so much with this nine of wands. They're, they're bound, they're, um, what is it? Their walls are up. Okay. Their walls are up. Um, I see her trying to, trying to fix this. I do see her trying to fix this. Um, I think things have been held up here because she has a lot going on. Probably not only with the sauce, but at home as well. Some things that, you know, she is dealing with. But overall, people don't trust her. Um, some people don't trust her. Some people still have a lot of love for her. They're just like, prove me wrong. It's like people are wanting her to prove them wrong here. You know, they are feeling betrayed. You know, they're like, you know, I trusted you. I've been following you. I've been supporting you, um, your career, and you let me down. I do have the six of wands. This is a moment that she isn't proud of. She's not proud of it, you know, even if she hasn't taken every step, she put in work in this, you know, even if she didn't do everything properly, she did put in work and she's not happy with how it is all turned out. She has kind of wanted to, uh, um, she's been having feelings of abandoning, you know, um, this product right now. She just, she doesn't really know what to do. She's kind of stuck right now, but I do see her, um, trying to figure things out right now with it but I feel like she's going to come back and try to fix what has been done here I do um I am picking up that energy but some people with this hermit in reverse they're not going to deal with her anymore and they're going to be done with it with justice being here that could also indicate that there could be some upcoming lawsuits but I do see a possibility for settlement here all right, what is next? Was this a scam? Was this a scam all along or, or is this just lack of planning? Was this a scam? Was the pink sauce a scam? Or was this just lack of planning? All 
All right, we have the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Emperor. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Cups. The bottom of the deck, we have Justice. Okay, so guys, I feel like she really did um, start this, uh, like I said, this... Um, I don't know what to call it endeavor we'll call it an endeavor she started this endeavor in the hopes that you know it would pay off for her but the problem is she didn't do all of her research with this page of Pentacles this is the stu the study card the student card of the deck and she didn't she didn't do that right she didn't take all the right steps here with the seven of Pentacles being in here in reverse she did not invest her time and her energy into making sure that this wouldn't happen. Okay. She didn't think everything through. She just was ready to just go for it right now. Just, you know, I just want to make this money. Okay. This is about having a short sighted view, not thinking about the long term. And this is her entrepreneurial spirit. She's showing up as the emperor. So this is her energy and it's showing me that she had good intentions when this started. When this started and she's ready for all of this to be over with this 10 of wands in reverse she's ready to get past all of this i do feel like there are some things going on right now there's a lot of planning going on i have 11 wands here that breaks down to the two of wands which is about figuring out how to move forward from this let's see what else we have 17 18 24 that's the six so yeah I see her trying to right her wrong here the world is here but it is in the upright that represents the internet this three of Pentacles and three of cups is showing how people are upset now you know um, like I said you we were following you we you know we were trying to support you here but um, we're not happy. But I, the world is here in reverse. I do feel like this was not a scam. But it's still something with that high priestess and that moon energy that came out in regards to this that she's not opening up about. Let's see. So the people who have not received their order spirit, are they ever going to get their order or get their money back? Will this be resolved? Or are they going to be ignored? Will they get their money back or at least get the product? What is going to happen with that? Show me the energy around that. This wanted to come out. King of Cups is in reverse now. Okay, Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups in reverse. The lovers in reverse, the four pinnacles in reverse, and justice. On the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands. This is everybody fussing and, you know, sending emails and making nasty comments in the text. Where is my money or where is my product? Okay. <laughs> I have the three of pinnacles is now in the upright. The chariot is in the reverse and the empress is here in the upright. Y'all, I think she will make right. She's trying. She's really trying. She's trying to do the right thing. I do see her working and moving about. This is the Knight of Wands. She's still passionate about this. Like I see her, her trying to, to get everything done. But again, this is like mismanagement. Um, with this Four of Pentacles energy being here in the reverse, 
this is about like letting go or spending or releasing. So I feel like this will be her sending out products or returning money. And, you know, all the while, whatever ends up happening, everyone isn't going to be happy, right? Some people are just going to have to get their money back. And I'm not sure that some people may not even get their money back, right? They're not going to be happy. She's not going to be happy because she is going to try and again, like I said, right some of this wrong. But I feel like it's going to be a while before we, we see this resolution here with the chariot in reverse. I am going to go to clarify this a little further, but I just see some people being unhappy and some people, you know, being um, compensated here or receiving their product. Tell me about the chariot in reverse. Why is this here? Okay, I have the five of swords in reverse and the page of wands. So it's showing me that she's trying to make amends, right? She's trying to clear up the disagreements with this five of swords energy. She's trying. So it's going to take a little while. Okay, it's just going to take a little while. But here's that two of wands I was talking about. She's she's trying to figure it all out. She's trying to figure it all out. Yeah. I see her again. She's trying to make amends. This moon energy is here again, and I don't like that. Let me get one more card. Hmm. Tell me about this moon energy. Tell me about this moon energy. Okay, this moon energy isn't anything to do with like deceit. What this is, this is about her internal emotions about this situation. Yeah, this is her being conflicted. She's conflicted about whether to continue in this. Like she feels, she's heartbroken the way that everything went down here. Yeah, but I do see her y'all, she's trying. She's working on things. She's trying to figure out how to do things better here. Um, she, you know, she's she's trying to figure it all out in the energy of this Four of Swords. And this comes after heartbreak. Like, you know, this has been very hard on her. She's a little withdrawn at this time as well. And it's because so many people are coming at her. But again, I think that it will take some time. She's just trying to figure it all out. She's trying to figure out how to even, you know, what how where do i begin i don't even know how many orders she may have but she's just trying to figure everything out okay so let's just go ahead and ask will this pink sauce eventually end up being successful or is it just going to go away to die is this pink sauce going to be successful or are people just going to be turned off by it? Will this pink sauce be successful? Because I think I checked online and even up to today, she's still pushing it. And I don't quite understand that. Like, I don't know. Will this pink sauce be successful, Spirit? Will it be successful or is it just going to go away? Show me the energy around that. Sorry, y'all, it's the card stock. And it drives me crazy. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. The Fool. The King of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Star, and the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Sun. Interesting. All right, let's see here. I show this pink sauce being her wish fulfillment. Like this is um, in some way around her career like this is what she's always wanted to do. 
I'm showing um, that, you know, she's very emotionally attached to this sauce. With this fool being here, I feel like the there will be another chance for her to start over here. It'll be some time with this King of Wands. That's delay. Because some people just, they don't, they're not going to want to hear about this pink sauce, okay, with all the um, comments that are being said. And some people are going to be like, I don't know. I don't know if I would like to, you know, buy this. And I do show that, you know, her, her money is going to be affected, but the sun is here. Um, I think after she does some planning and a little more research, you know, comes back and does damage control, there may be an opportunity here for her to start over. Let's check out a few cards. Spirit, tell me about this full energy. We have the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Okay. And the Hermit. So what this is showing is just showing that in her past energy, she just jumped out there, right? With this Knight of Swords energy. I'm just going to go for it. You know, I didn't plan all the way through. And now I have all this heat, all these people coming at my neck. And it's all this confusion, right? And now certain people aren't even dealing with me anymore. And it's showing me that in the beginning it was, you know, like even though this is her dream, things were happening so fast for her. She, I feel like she got caught up. I think that she got caught up. And again, this is, uh, this nine of cups is also wish fulfillment as well. I think she got caught up in the, in the beginning. And again, with this ace of swords in the reverse, she didn't do the right planning here before she took action. But in the future, I do have the Ace of Pentacles. So I do see people still continuing to buy it, but maybe not as much with this Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse. Let's go in and clarify that. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? The Ten of Swords. Uh-oh. Chariot. Yeah, I think she, there will be a period of time where she kind of, you know, she's, she, she's not messing with the pink sauce anymore. It's held up for whatever reason, but then I feel like she's going to, um, it's going to, it's going to start to take off again with this chariot energy. Yeah. And I have the world and it's here in the upright. So I do see the pink sauce continuing to be put out here there again. At, at, I'm gonna put it this way, guys. Once you burn some people, that's it. Okay. They will not be burned again. And I feel like even if she does get it together and gets it tested and it's, you know, legal for her to sell it, some people just are not going to be with it. Some people just are not going to be with it. They're just not going to be with it. But I think that after some time passes, guys, that, you know, She'll make some changes and I do see, um, I do see things, um, continuing with the pink sauce. I don't see it going away. I don't have any indication that it's just going to continually go away. But what I do see here is she kind of messed up her opportunity for it to be like huge. Right. But, um, I feel like what, let's see, let me check. What's this queen of cups about? This is about her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that part of the reason it's going to be held up is, is because of things that she's dealing with. Okay, she's going to be having her own internal struggles about whether or not she should continue with this or not. But ultimately, I do see um, change here with this Eight of Wands. And I see her getting her momentum back with this Queen of Wands. But again, some people just aren't going to forgive her. 
all right guys if you're still here and you haven't done so please hit that subscribe button if you have any more questions that you like to ask about the pink sauce put them down in the comments and if i get enough questions we'll do a part two all right guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next reading